Domo Amejin des. Welcome to another beginning Japanese lecture, lesson 14. We have a big, big lecture today. Um, there's a lot of material we have to cover, so I'm going to kind of go through it very quickly. Daily activities. Um, a few things to review, just some vocabulary from lesson 6. Asa, morning, and hiru, noon. And then the verb kuru, kimas, to come, right? And kita, kimashita, came, past tense of the same verb. Our key sentence today is sono zashi wo yoku yomimasu. Sono zashi wo yoku yomimasu. Our vocabulary, this is the first page of three, starts with uh, usually, often, and not really. Uh, taite yoku amari. Taite yoku amari. All right, and then a few action verbs here to wake up, to go to bed. Okimasu, nemasu, okiru, neru. Okay, um, for this lesson, we're gonna be sticking with the polite forms of the verb, so the mas the mas verbs here. Uh, you, I've included the, im, the uh, not impolite, but the casual forms of the verbs um, as well, although we're not really going to use them at all, just for your reference. Okay, so okimasu, nemasu, eh, nani nani, this little tilde here is pronounced nani nani, like something, nani nani o, this is o, tabemasu, tabemasu, tabemasu. Eh, to study. Nani nani o yomimasu to read something. Nani nani o nomimasu to drink something. Nani nani o mimasu mimasu to watch or to see something. Okay? You have a phrase here at the very end to take a shower. Shawa o abimasu. Shawa o abimasu. Shawa is shower. Uh, o is a Grammar particle, it's a particle. Abimas means to be bathed in, so literally it's to be bathed in a shower, <laughs> which sounds a little strange, but that's how it is in Japanese. Shawa wa abimas. Our second page is another phrase to take a bath. Ofuro ni hairimas. Ofuro ni hairimas. Ofuro is a bath. Ni is a uh, Particle meaning in, and hairimas means get into, so you're entering a bath. Ofuro ni hairimas. This might seem strange, why am I learning this um, action? But in Japanese, people take baths all the time, um, so it's not strange at all that you would learn this in a Japanese course. You should know this verb, because if you go to Japan and you stay with a host family or something like that, people will be entering the bath a lot. Ofuro ni hairimas. Okay, next, to go to, doko doko ni ikimasu, to go somewhere, somewhere ni ikimasu, to come, um, I had in the review the verb kuru kimasu, kimashita, uh, because um, we have this verb right here, to come to a place, uh, place ni kimasu, alright, kimasu, the next one is to go home, kaerimasu, or Ie ni kaerimasu, kaerimasu. So, ie ni or uchi ni, if you also pronounce ie as uchi, um, is optional. That's why I put it in parentheses. You can just say kaerimasu to mean I'm going home. It's implied that you're returning to home. Okay. Next, we have a repeat vocabulary word, which is why it's in bold. Hon, hon, book. Next, we have the word for magazine in Japanese, which is zashi, zashi. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner are asa gohan, hiru gohan. And then dinner has two, ban gohan and yu gohan. So in the textbooks that I follow for the order ordering of these lectures, only lists ban gohan. But when I was in Japan, many people just said yu gohan. So I've included both here, ban gohan and yu gohan. Okay? The kanji is interesting for yu gohan because this character looks like the katakana ta. Um, but it is kanji, all right? You. Television or TV. Terebi. Terebi. That comes from television. Terebi. The word for a movie is eiga. Eiga. Okay? School. Gakko. Gakko. And then uh, coffee is kohi. Kohi. All right? And our final two vocabulary terms are really grammatical terms. 
nani nani ni something ni uh, we'll learn that has to do with time and then nani nani goro something goro which means around a certain time but we'll talk about that later um, I want to talk really quick about the verbs I just introduced you normally use them with other words um, so for example the word for grocery store, sūpa, sūpa, okay? Gakko, uh, school, ie, home, or uchi, if you want to say it like that. Um, and then, ni ikimasu, ni ikimasu, ni kaerimasu. These are verbs of um, going and coming, all right? Movement verbs. You just combine them together, and you get your phrase, sūpa ni ikimasu, I'm going to the supermarket. Gakko ni ikimasu, I come to school, ie ni kaerimasu, uh, to go home. Uh, and then you have words of eating, like tabemasu, so asa gohan wo tabemasu, hiru gohan wo tabemasu, ban gohan wo tabemasu, yu gohan wo tabemasu, breakfast, eat lunch, eat dinner, uh, eat dinner. Um, yomimasu, the verb to read, yomu, yomimasu, uh, uses o right here, and then the thing you read before o, hon wo yomimasu, to read a book, zashi wo yomimasu, to read a magazine. And then two more, kohi wo nomimasu, to drink coffee. And then, terebi wo mimasu, to watch TV, eiga wo mimasu, to see a movie. Let's move on to our grammar, doing things at certain times. So, we're going to use ni and goro to indicate when we do something. Uh, so, the construction basically is a ni. V mas. V, I will use V always to stand for a verb, whatever verb, and ending in mas, the polite form. A goro vi mas. To verb at this time, to verb around this time. For example, mai nichi hachiji ni okimasu. Mai nichi hachiji ni okimasu. I wake up at 8 every day. Mai nichi means every day. Hachiji ni means at 8. Okimas, wake up. There's no I in there. It's implied that you are saying this about yourself. Mainichi, hachiji ni okimas. Gozen, juji goro, gakko ni ikimas. Gakko ni ikimas. I will go to school around 10 a.m. Or I go to school around 10 a.m. Uh, notice goro is around in that situation. And in the first sentence, the first example, hachiji ni, ni means at this specific time. Uh, we can also use ni for dates. So, getsuyobi ni on Monday or 1995 nen ni in the year 1995. Okay, we haven't done years yet, I think, but uh, we'll get to it. All right, you know how to count up to. 9,999 or something like that. So this shouldn't be too hard for you guys. There is um, an exception, something you have to watch out for. So ni usually indicates a precise one time only period, uh, which means you, you can't use it with my asa, my bang, my shu, all right? It would be wrong to say my asa ni gakko ni ikimasu. That's not right at all. Um, you just get rid of the ni, <laughs> don't say it, and just say my asa. First, okay? My asa gakko ni ikimasu. I usually just indicate that pause with a comma, which you can do as well. Activity one, uh, doing things at certain times. Read Kenji's schedule and fill in each blank with the most appropriate words. So here's Kenji and his schedule over here. He's saying kyo ten 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 today. This is the schedule. So let's fill in all the blanks. Uh, with the appropriate words. One, uh, oh, you can pause the video and try it on your own. I'm gonna solve it right now. Number one, kyo kenji wa something ni okimasu. Well, this is a time because we have ni. Um, we're saying today, kenji will wake up at what time? So we go to his schedule, we look for the word for wake up, which is probably at the beginning and that word is okimasu, and here it is, okimasu, hachiji, hachiji. Uh, so we can say, hachiji ni okimasu. If you want to be very specific, gozen hachiji ni okimasu. All right, niban number two, hachiji han ni 
何々を食べます。何々を食べます。So, 8時半 is, do you remember? 8.30. Right here. So, here's 8.30. 朝ごはんを食べます。朝ごはん、remember, is breakfast. 8時半に朝ごはんを食べます。is number two. Number three. 何々、何々、学校に行きます。Uh, I assume we are giving a time here. He's going to school at a specific time.、Um, next on the list, if we're just going down, is Gakko ni ikimas. So that's at 9 o'clock. We can say Kuji ni. Kuji ni. Ni is important. It means at. Kuji ni. Gakko ni ikimas. We can also be very specific and say Gozen. Kuji ni. Gakko ni ikimas. Number four, Juniji ni. Whatever. What is that, Juniji?、Uh, this right here, we have Juniji. Hiru gohan o tabemas. Hiru gohan o tabemas.、Uh, so that's just what we write right here. Hiru gohan o tabemas. Number five,、uh, this looks like 15 o'clock. Remember, it's actually 3 p.m.、Uh, so I will say, Sanji ni. Sanji ni. Nani, nani, nani. He will do something. Well, according to his schedule, here's Sanji ni gogo. Sanji ni benkyo, benkyo shimas, benkyo, which means to study. Okay. Number six. Nani, nani, nani. Ie ni kaerimas. Ie ni kaerimas.、Eh, so here's kaerimas without the ie ni or uchi ni. So、uh, in the question, it's more specific. But Here we have the time being 5 p.m. This is 5 p.m. So number six would be、eh, Gogo, Goji ni, Ie ni, Kaerimas, Kaerimas. All right. Number seven,、uh, we've got two blanks for this one. Nani nani ni, Yu go ha o, Nani nani. I'm assuming it's at this time. Breakfast o, eat, Tabemas. So, according to the schedule, that's at 6 p.m. So, Gogo, Rokuji ni, Yu go ha o, Tabemas, Tabemas. Number eight, we're getting down here. 20 something, Hong something. <laughs> Very little information here. 20 is probably、um, 8 p.m., okay, 8 o'clock. So, we can say, Hachi、eh, ji ni. Ji ni is what goes here. Hon. But what do you do to a book? You read a book. So, hon o yomimas. Hon o yomimas. That's all written right here for you. And the last one, number nine.、Uh, this time, nemas. I will sleep at this time. And it looks like that would be nine o'clock. So, number nine is nine o'clock. Kuji ni nemas. Kuji ni. Nemas. And this is all written out here for you in bold. You can ask、uh, at what time or around what time using nani. All right? You know nani. My ban nanji ni nemaska? My ban nanji ni nemaska? What time do you go to bed every night? Every night being my ban, nanji ni being at what time? Nemaska? Do you sleep? The bottom one says, Around what time will you eat lunch? Nanji goro, hiru go han o tabemasu ka? Goro being around. Okay? Not too hard. Activity two, answer each question based on Rachel's weekly calendar. You can pause the video, try this one on your own first. I'm going to solve it right now. Here's Rachel and her weekday calendar. This goes from getsu to kin, right? Monday through Friday. We have the times here on the left. And the events in her life that are color coded. Rachel, this is a nice schedule.、Um, it is important to note you might not recognize this one that says Staba. Staba is Starbucks right here. This is the Japanese,、um, I guess you could call it slang. It's the shortening of the word Starbucks. Starbucks. So Staba. She goes to Starbucks. Number one, Getsu yobi wa nanji ni benkyo shimasu ka? So remember, wa indicates something that we're talking about, we're giving new information about. 
So I like to translate it just as about this, about the topic. So number one, I can translate to about Monday, at what time, nanji ni benkyo shimasu ka, will she study? Uh, it's understood that we're talking about Rachel. All right, so getsuyobi wa nanji ni benkyo shimasu ka? On Monday, at what time will she study? Well, we have to find Monday. Here it is. Here's benkyo, her study time, and it starts at 8 o'clock. So we can say, hachiji ni benkyo shimasu. Hachiji ni benkyo shimasu. Number two. Kayobi wa nanji ni ega o mimasu ka? Well, here's Kayobi, uh, day of fire, Tuesday. Nanji ni at what time? Ega o mimasu. Ega movie, mimasu to watch. Ega o mimasu ka? Well, here's ega, uh, and it's quite late, in, not quite late, but late in, later on the calendar. And here we have 3 p.m. So we can say, uh, gogo, sanji ni ega o mimasu. Yeah, mm. that would be the answer. Number three, sui kin yobi wa nanji ni kohi o nomimasu ka? Well, we don't have kohi written on here, but we do have staba. So let's go with staba, uh, is when she will drink coffee. Uh, it says sui kin yobi. So on Wednesday and Friday, sui kin. Uh, they're at the same times, which is good for us. So, and those times are. Eight in the morning. Gozen, hachiji ni kohi o nomimasu. Hai. Number four. Mokuyobi wa nanji ni supa ni ikimasu ka? Remember, supa is supermarket. Okay? Mokuyobi is here. She has shigoto first, and then supa. Supa starts at, uh, looks like it's gonna be a 30. So, 3.30. PM, we can say gogo sanji han ni sanji han ni supa ni ikimasu. Okay? And number five, ka mokuyobi wa nanji ni shigoto ikimasu ka? So on Tuesday and Thursday, at what time will she go to work? Ka yobi, mokuyobi. Here's the shigoto, these big pink bars. Uh, and that starts at kuji, nine o'clock in the morning. We can say asa kuji ni shigoto ni ikimasu or gozen kuji ni or just kuji ni. All right. Here are the answers in bold note. You can just give the times. You don't have to make the very complete sentences like I did uh, here. Negative verbs. Um, we're also going to learn in this <laughs> lesson how to conjugate polite verbs into their negative forms. Um, this is also part why, partly why this lesson is so big. We're learning lots of vocabulary and how to do verb conjugations already. So cool. So the negative verbs, um, you achieve those by taking mas, the mas ending in polite verbs, and changing it to masen. Mas, masen. Mas, masen. Okay? So here we have some verbs. Ikimas. Tabemas, nemas, ofuro ni hairimas. Notice they all end in mas. Well, you take that mas, make it masen. So now you have ikimasen, ikimasen. I won't go, ikimasen. Tabemasen, I won't eat. Mm -mm. Nemasen, I won't sleep. Ofuro ni hairimasen, I won't take a bath. <laughs> all right. For example, kyo. Shigoto ni ikimasen. Today, I'm not gonna go to work. I won't go to work. Negative. Ashita wa doyobi desu. Benkyo shimasen. Tomorrow is Saturday. I'm not gonna study. <laughs> because there's no school, right? And there's no school the next day after that, Sunday. So, benkyo shimasen. You won't do. Activity 3, transform each sentence into a negative sentence. Go ahead, try it on your own. I'm going to solve it right now. Number 1, ashita. Shawa wo abimasu. Ashita. Shawa wo abimasu. Tomorrow, ashita. Shawa wo abimasu. I will take a shower. So take abimasu is the main verb. Take the mas ending. Change it to masen. Abimasen. Abimasen. Ashita. 
シャワーを浴びません。Tomorrow I won't take shower. Kind of disgusting, but that's what it is. <laughs> Number two, 夕ご飯を食べます。夕ご飯 dinner, を食べます。Will eat. I will eat dinner. 夕ご飯を食べません。食べません is the negative. 夕ご飯を食べません。Number three, 明日の朝、コーヒーを飲みます。The morning of tomorrow or tomorrow morning, コーヒーを飲みます I will drink coffee. How would you say tomorrow morning, I won't drink coffee? That would be, 明日の朝、コーヒーを飲みません。飲みません。うん、Number four, ジョンは雑誌を読みます。John reads a magazine. How about John won't read a magazine or does not read a magazine? ジョンは雑誌を読みません。読みます。goes to 読みません。Okay? Number five, and the last one. その絵は、その絵が、その絵画を見ます。その絵画を見ます。I will watch that movie.How about I won't watch that movie?That would be, その絵画を見ません。見ません。Alright? その絵画を見ません。Here are all the answers in bold. Now let's get into our third grammar point today frequency words. These are the first three vocabulary words that、um, I noted in our vocabulary today. Taite yoku amari. Taite yoku amari. Okay?、Um, Taite means usually. I usually do this. Normally I do this. It's a very high frequency, about 90%. Yoku. Often, I often do that. It's a little less, probably 75%. Okay, and then on the opposite side of the spectrum, you have amari, amari.、Uh, that maybe 25%, 20%、uh, frequency that you do something.、Um, here they are, I plotted them on a continuum here, with this side being always and the left side being never.、Uh, Taite, as you can see, is pretty high up there. Yoku is below that, and Amari is just the opposite side of the、uh, spectrum. There is a colloquial way, a more informal way of saying Amari,、uh, which is Amari, Amari, A,、uh, A, N, Ma, B. I didn't write it on here, but just throwing that out there so you know,、uh, at least you know about it. Now, these words are truly adverbs. These are true adverbs,、um, which means they. Can go anywhere in, in the sentence.、Uh, so here, for example, コーヒーをあまり飲みません。あまり飲みません。I don't really drink coffee. あまり means not really. コーヒーをあまり飲みません。I don't really drink coffee. You could also, as long as every、uh, non verbal word is before the verb, you're good. You can easily exchange コーヒーを with あまり。To say, あまりコーヒーを飲みません。But コーヒーをあまり飲みません is also fine. Same meaning. 私は映画をよく見ます。私は映画をよく見ます。I often see movies or I often watch movies. Again, you can move よく anywhere around in there because it's an adverb and it just can go anywhere.、えー、私はよく映画を見ます。Is also fine. Activity four, answer each question in Japanese based on the prompts given.、Uh, try this on your own, pause the video. I'm going to solve it right now. Number one, Morgan wa hon o yoku yomimasu ka? Remember, hon o yomimasu means to read a book. And we have yoku, which means often. So they're asking us, does Morgan often read a book? And our little <laughs> prompt in parentheses is saying, not really. Uh, so let's use that and respond with either hi or i、uh, The answer here would be、um, no, she doesn't. Not really. So, i e a m a r i y o m i m a s e n h o n o a m a r i y o m i m a s e n is also fine. Number two, Tony wa yoku hachijini o k i m a s u ka? Tony wa yoku hachijini o k i m a s u ka? So, as for Tony, often at eight o'clock does he wake up? Does Tony often wake up at 8 o'clock?、Uh, 
uh, and it's our prompt is giving us usually. So this is not we don't have to refute it with ie. Uh, then again, it's not exact because um, yoku means often and taite means usually. So let's just say Tony wa taite hachiji ni okimasu. That's fine. Number three, Shaun wa kohi o nomimasu ka? This is just asking, does he drink coffee? Um, and we can agree, hai, yoku nomimasu. Hai, kohi o yoku nomimasu. Right. Number four, Mike wa terebi o yoku mimasu ka? Does Mike often watch television? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> So the answer for that in Japanese would be Ie amari mimasen. Terebi o amari mimasen is also fine. Number five. Judy wa juji ni gakko ni taite ikimasu ka? Judy wa juji ni gakko ni taite ikimasu ka? Does Julie usually go to school at 10 o'clock? Uh, and it's saying usually. So yes. Hai, Judy wa juji ni え、学校に行きます。大抵10時に学校に行きます。And number 6, Nicole は雑誌をよく読みますか? Does she often read newspapers? 雑誌. Uh, and in the in our little prompt it says often. So yes. はい. Nicole は雑誌をよく読みます。はい. We could also just say はい, よく読みます。That's fine too. Here are the answers. Listening practice. I'm going to read two compositions twice. Listen and write down what you hear, either on a piece of paper or in your head. Here we go. Number one. Watashi wa taite kuji ni okimasu. Watashi wa taite kuji ni okimasu. Pause the video. If you need more time, I'm going to show the answers right now. Watashi wa taite kuji ni okimasu. Number two. Tanaka san wa amari ofuro ni hairimasen. Tanaka san wa amari ofuro ni hairimasen. Pause the video if you need more time. The answer for number two is Tanaka san wa amari ofuro ni hairimasen. Activity six translation practice. Translate the following statements into either English or Japanese. Uh, pause the video, try it on your own. I'm going to solve this right now. The first woman says, Ken, yoku asa gohan o tabemasu ka? Ken, yoku asa gohan o tabemasu ka? Which means, Ken, do you often eat breakfast? Ken in katakana is someone's name. Yoku often asa gohan o breakfast tabemasu ka? Do you eat? Do you often eat breakfast? The lady on the bottom says, I usually go home around 5 p.m. In Japanese, that would be Taite gogo goji ni kaerimasu. Taite gogo goji ni kaerimasu. Now you can also um, write this out as uh, 17G. Uh, of course, it would be pronounced goji uh, or gogo goji, right? You could also say yoru goji ni kaerimasu. All right. Back to our key sentence. Sono zashi o yoku yomimasu. Which you should now know means I often read that magazine. Now your homework. Make a schedule. What is your daily routine? Write what you can using the vocabulary and concept you, concepts you learned in this lesson uh, along with times. Okay, so just make a list times what you do throughout the day. Similar to, I believe it was activity two or three, one of those. Uh, could be activity one even. One of the earlier activities. Just copy that, write down some times when you wake up, when you eat breakfast, when you eat all these different things, when you go to school or work, and then when you go to bed. Something like that. And of course there's a worksheet that accompanies this lesson. You can find it on my website. Link in the description below. That's about it. Um, thanks for watching guys. This was a big lesson. Thanks for sticking to the end. I'll see you guys in a future lecture.